Hello guys and welcome to a vlog. It is a warm Sunday in London. I'm wearing a jumper, foolishly, but with shorts and bare legs and sandals. I think I'm balancing it well. And I'm just wandering to Portobello Road to do get some food shopping and I've been trying to shop at like the markets in Portobello Road um, instead of the supermarkets as much. Uh, so I'm gonna go do that, although I don't know how many is open on a Sunday, it's always the busiest on a Saturday, so we'll see. But there's some really nice like healthy food shops down there. So I'm gonna do that um, and just have a wander around really. I just fancy getting out of the house a little bit. I'm having one of those days where I'm fully to my own devices all day long. I'm loving it. I went for a swim this morning, started a new book. I was tempted to bring my book out and find a cafe to read in, but I thought, no, read at home. <laughs> um, but it's been a really, really, really nice day. I've been catching up on Love Island, all that good stuff. Um, and yes, I thought I would start the vlog today. Yeah. Live next weekend. I'm in London until Thursday this week, so for a good few days, which is a lovely feeling. And there's a heat wave coming, which is less of a lovely feeling because it's gonna, apparently on one day next week, it's gonna feel like 38 degrees in London. And Linz and I have got so much booked in our diaries on that day, like meetings in London, we were like, idiots, it's gonna absolutely crucify us. And what this can do So we about to make your moments Then your girl came to She was like, yo, I love your band So before she know it I got my dick up in her hand Well, you ain't seen the half of it yet Put your ass a bit left And I'ma show you the rest of it I say you might just be on to me Truth be told, you were right where you wanna be So you ain't seen what this can do, girl I didn't say I told you I to, but yeah, I could give you money stuff when I send this book can't go let me tell you now baby Okay guys, I'm back at home and having a big, big, big sort out. And I'm doing it in here because it's bed changing day, so my room is too much of a mess to feel like I can do anything productively like this. And I've got Love Island on in the background. Basically, following on from the conversation that we'd had in the past two videos about sustainability and, and just how I feel about my wardrobe, I want to get to a point in my wardrobe where I'm almost operating a one-in-one-out rule, which... I was just reading through some of the comments and you guys get it so much. Let me just pause this because Love Island's about to start again and Michael is being such a bastard. I can't miss a moment of it. Um, yeah, of just being, of having this whole conversation while being realistic about what I need to do for work um, and for my business basically and continuing to work with brands in the way that I am doing. So I want to get everything to a point where I'm in a one in, one out rule. So. If our cat get in touch and they say, do you want to pick some stuff out and there's loads of things I like on the website at that time, for me to go, yes, I would love to, but be really aware that that means I've got to cull some things from my wardrobe already. Unless, my exception to my rule, will be if I'm having a really conscious thing of being like, I really need, or not need, never need, really want a certain type of trouser that I feel like my wardrobe's lacking. And then to justify and explain why I've added something in and what do I think it's gonna to add to my wardrobe and why is it not like what I've already what I've got already. All the while constantly keeping an eye out for similar things to what I already have for you guys. So it's obviously gonna mean that lots of my wardrobe becomes older pieces, but I'll constantly check online on all the brands that I love to look for similar items to. So this is what I'm aiming towards. It's obviously a massive job for me to clear out my wardrobe this much. You know that I was filming those series and even then it was just scratching the surface. So to make a start with it, I'm doing it by looking at the categories where I've recently got something new. So I bought myself a new totem jumper on the net of Porter sale, um, which I'll show you in a bit and talk through that piece in a little bit. Um, so I've just gone through all my jumpers and made a massive pile of stuff to go. And also the Everlane denim skirt that you saw in the last one. I really, 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 really love that skirt. So because that's new in, I'm, I'm going to go through the skirts and shorts and do that bit. And for now, I'm going to have to do it bit by bit like that as a new item comes in that then makes me address the whole section of my wardrobe like that because otherwise it's just going to be a bit of a, too much of a big job to do all at once. Um, but yes, I hope you guys... This is all making sense to you all. It's just my attempt to make my wardrobe a little bit more 
compact so you can see the piece you can see the pieces better i can see the pieces better and then the conversation around bringing new pieces in isn't going to stop like i always say i love shopping and i love having new clothes so that's not going to stop but it's just going to be spoken about a bit differently is what i'm wanting um and just basically to have a bit less of everything my phone's my phone's buzzing oh. um all right i'm going to charge the camera watch love island get through these shorts and then that's two sections done yeah, I could give you one of this stuff when I send this through. Can't go, let me tell you now, baby. Come on, can't get you on your own. So come on, come on, come on, come on. Sayonara, I'ma see you on the other side of somewhere I don't know about it. Just to play around with you is something I don't wanna go without it. So we're leaving all the small talk and you cheese and I'm chalking, you sneeze and I'm walking back. Just to tell you now, baby. Come on. Can't get you on your own, so come on, come on, come on, come on. Wow, I look disheveled. Hello, guys. It's now Monday afternoon. I've been shooting today with Isaac and um, just worked at Soho House this morning and just got back in. It is quarter past five. It's a beautiful day. It's going to be a beautiful week. <sighs> Excuse me, yawning. Um, I stop vlogging yesterday afternoon didn't i which was naughty i'm going to show you the progress that i've made in my wardrobe so far and it's feeling great and i'm also going to show you the jumper that i was talking to you about that inspired me to start this clean out clear out just balancing you on a candle there it's quite a good angle i did have this on earlier today but it is too hot so i ordered this jumper off netta border from toe Obviously, it's completely the wrong time of year to order a jumper. I'm going into a heat wave, but I've wanted this for ages, and I've been finding myself wearing jumpers quite a lot recently, like having them over my shoulders for evenings when I'm out. Especially as it's like I said, it's going to get really hot, but it hasn't consistently been really hot. Um, so I've been finding myself wearing jumpers a lot, and I'm really missing a light cream one in my wardrobe. And this is what I mean about wanting less, so I can see where there is a hole. Um, so I didn't, I've got just different tones of cream, but not the, quite, quite the right size and shape and everything. And I've loved this toe town for ages, so I had a look on next and it happened to be in the sale at 50% off. I got it in a size medium, and I absolutely love it. It's great for wearing on tucked over things, which is actually the look that I'm really into at the moment. I'm moving away from things being tucked in. Um, so this is the perfect length and size for that. It's like a wool cashmere mix, so it's soft, but won't bobble as easy as cashmere. Um, and it's just gorgeous. I love the billowy sleeves on it. I was so chuffed to get it for some money off because I've always looked at it full price online, but it's super expensive full price. I never can really justify it. Um, but I love it. I wore it yesterday, as you saw, and I'm wearing it today. Definitely going to have to put it away for a few days because it's going up to like 36 degrees in London. So that won't work. But I am so, so, so pleased. It's a bit crinkled because I've had it folded up in a bag on my way back from shooting. But... I'm chuffed a bit with it and I got rid of a few more cream jumpers yesterday so this is definitely filled a big gap and I know that I wear it so much going into winter so you guys can expect to see a lot um, a lot of this. I'll link it the next portal one in the description box. I'm not sure what sizes are left. There definitely wasn't the small left. Um, and then when winter comes around and I'm wearing this more, I'll keep an eye out for really similar ones online from the high street and from different places so you guys can shop by those. But yes, really chuffed with it. And I've also been wearing my Sino linen shorts, which I love, and these shoes from Arquette, which I also love. Excuse the bin bag there, it's bin day today. But yes, loving this. Just done more clearing out. In fact, I'll quickly show you guys now, and then I'm gonna decide a really fancy grain drink over the dinner. So I'm gonna go out for dinner by myself with my book, which will be lovely. And hopefully, I'll get a spot outside. We shall see. First of all, wardrobe. So I have gone through t-shirts. Bottom, we've got well, bikinis here, still a mess. Black t-shirts and blue and grey. White t-shirts. That is a considerably smaller pile. Uh, white miscellaneous so like printed some sweatshirts a breton black printed pajamas chuffed with that little section here we've got shirts a lot more organized denim way better this was just everywhere beforehand come on camera there we go 
trousers also been organized shoes on the to-do list down here denim shorts and skirts non-denim shorts and oh just shorts actually there and then in this section jackets i've gone through knitwear is considerably lighter still ignore the shoe section which is mental and the scarves black knits cream knits cashmere comfies cardigans the totem knit oh i've still got the end bit to do which is dresses and things but i feel so much lighter already just from this um so that's good and like i can see more and i'll quickly show you what i'm wearing to go out to dinner just got on my arquette uh, tank top that i've been wearing loads and um, my everlane jumper over my shoulders just in case it gets chilly and i'm sat outside and some massimo duty linen mixed trousers which i've had for ages and didn't know i had anymore because they were under another pair of trousers in my wardrobe this is when it's just ridiculous having a wardrobe like that and then um, uh, my dear Frances slides from last season but she still does these they're so comfortable these they're so good hello, hello. it's the day after from when i was last vlogging and linda is here mm. we both got ice lollies it's a heat wave in London. <laughs> it's just too hot. It's it's so hot. Out, and we should see how hot it is. I think it's 33 degrees today. That's a joke. Mm. Too hot. One day I'm here. I've lended this book. Can't wait to read that. She has lended me this one. Florida by Lauren Groff. Best book you'll ever read that. Best book you'll ever read, apparently. We're yeah. doing our podcast recording later. Mm. Yeah. Would you just dribble a lolly down your arm? Yeah, but not in the Oh, that's okay. Yeah, we're doing podcast recording later, and then I'll speak to you guys properly when I can make proper sentences. Ah. Uh, good morning, guys, from me on the Andal Stories website. Um, so I thought as part of this whole talking about um, shopping and things, I would show bits of it as well. So And Other Stories is a brand that gets in touch with lots of people every single month and offers them an allowance of gifting. Um, and you guys know I love the brand and it is like my ultimate temptation always because I always think they do so many good pieces that are just the right amount of simple but slightly different to what I've already got. So I'm really tempted by it all of the time. Um, so basically i was emailed a few weeks ago about it and then a wonderful reader got in touch with me and said that my favorite jumper that i managed to shrink in the wash which is this one is currently in stock in a size small um so yeah that's this which i've had before and shrunk in the wash and worn it so much so i'm gonna ask um them to send me this this is obviously something that i'd be more than happy to pay for as well but when you get the monthly allowance i'm sure you guys can agree that there is no point in spending your own money on something when you literally have a voucher every single month um and i love this jumper and it by no means changes the way that i would share my opinions on things then i was just having a look at what's new in um and i thought i'd mention they've got this blazer back in which i have and i've kept i went through my blazers and i've kept this one it looks like it's slightly darker this season mine was a slightly um slightly pinkier in tone this from last year and it's still got all the sizes i'll leave a link in the description box because i know this was so popular and sold out really quickly um but the other thing that i then just saw which i'm going to ask for to review for you guys are these jeans which look i love under the story selling but it's always too too short this looks like it's a much longer style and it says that the inseam is 31.7 so I'm really excited to give these a go and see if they're longer because And Other Stories jeans are great. I love the way they fit through the crotch and over the hips. It's always amazing, but they've always been too short in the leg for me. So I'm going to ask for these in a waist 26 and then I'm going to stop looking at things and tempting myself anymore. But I just thought I'd chat to you about those two things. Um, but it looks like they've got some really nice new things in. Yellow cardigan's really, really nice. But yeah. Some really good bits that I do always think that they're a lot stronger through autumn and winter than spring and summer. So the, as they're starting to get some of that stuff through, even though it's going to be 36 degrees today, it does get more and more tempting. But yes, just thought I'd have that chat with you all. Good morning, guys. It's the following day. The last bit of vlogging I did was showing you the end of the stories thing, which was sat in the same spot yesterday morning. Um, everything is so full on at the moment. I'm just literally... Just don't feel like I don't have a second in the day. Everything is mental, but really good. Um, I'm just trying to book my Heathrow Express and it's not bloody working. 
um because i'm going to amsterdam today which i think i mentioned um why is it not working fuck um so frustrating check into my flight as well um yeah i'm going to amsterdam i'm on a one o'clock flight it's currently quarter to ten i've been to the gym this morning um and now i'm just about to um just reading about the BA strike. Oh, that's all fine. Um, I'm just about to go and get my fringe trimmed because it is. Oh my gosh, guys, sorry, 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 sorry. This I think this is so representative of how I'm feeling. Just so, so spread so thin. Um, yeah, I'm getting my fringe trimmed. As you can see, it needs trimming. So I'm going to go do that. And then from there, get an Uber to Paddington then go to Heathrow and then I shall be in Amsterdam for the weekend which I'm actually really looking forward to. Ben's finishing work early so we're just going to have the whole afternoon sat by the Amstel so you can jump in. So I am more or less taking the afternoon off which is also why I'm like I don't really have time to take the afternoon off but we shall make it work when there is a will there is a way. Um, doo -doo. Check in online, one second everybody. I am also going to have a bit of a look in Bottega Veneta. No fucking clue how you say that. Have a look, but Bottega Veneta. Bottega Veneta. Bottega Veneta. Bottega Veneta. But that brand. Um, there's a shop in Heathrow and I am in the market for a new handbag. And I know I've spent a lot of time talking about how I'm not shopping as much and now I'm about to do a big splurge. Um, but when I got that Celine bag, it's literally the one that I use all the time because of the length of the strap and how much it fits in. And I'm really after another bag like that. And it just felt like it gave such a new lease of life to my wardrobe. And I haven't actually bought a handbag because that was with a voucher and my deal one was with a voucher. I think I've bought a handbag since I was in Manchester, which will have been the Loewe Barcelona one with the triangle. I think I've bought a handbag since then. I've acquired more of them since then. And obviously maybe I've got five or six new ones, which is, I know is loads in the world of handbags as well, um, through brands and gifting and things, but I haven't, I haven't treated myself to one in a long time. So I think I'm going to do that today. Um, and I will see if I like it first because I know they're also really expensive, which does make me want to cry. It's eye-wateringly expensive. But I'm really picky with handbags. I so rarely see one that I like. Um, but just, yeah, hardly ever see one that I'm like, oh my gosh, I love this. So I've been seeing these ones quite a bit and really, really, really like them. Um, so I thought I'd go try try it on and see what, see what we all think about it. And to get it at the airport is obviously always a bit better. Um, so I'm gonna, I've left myself enough time to do that. Honestly, who do I think I am? Saying I'll be there with work and then I'm like, I'm leaving myself time to go shopping, which is literally what I'm doing, which is ridiculous when I'm distressed. Anyway, retail therapy, maybe it will help me out. So I'm gonna vlog that bit or vlog the decision and see what we go with, but I'm, I'm not sure because I know just how how expensive it is as well, but we'll see. Um, and I'm feeling tempted because I think the bags are beautiful. And like I said, I rarely, have that moment where I think of like, is that beautiful? Any danger of the Heathrow Express website working? And continue to check in summary. Success, you finished online check in. Fabulous. I need to rush to the hairdressers. Guys, I did it. I splurged. I love it. I'm going to show you later. I've just got five minutes to eat a sandwich now and get to my flight. I'm chuffed to bits with this. I'm just walking to her house to work there for the day. Got the new bag. Now this is a dreadful way to show you properly for the first time. We were out late last night um, and then just got up and left this morning. I will show you it properly and like what it's fitting in it, what it's like inside. It's my way to her house and you can't film in there so it won't be happening all right now but I promise at some point you'll see inside this bag of it. But I'm so, so, so pleased with it. It's just such a good size. I love the colour. I just absolutely love it. I think it's gorgeous. Um, it's so hot here. Yesterday it's like 38 degrees and it's going to be the same today. Um, and I'm just working. Ben's at work. Um, and we had the whole afternoon yesterday. I just sat by the by the Amstel, jumping in and out. It's really going to be too hot. Then we went for dinner, and it was such a lovely evening. Um, and yeah, I've just got to get my head down with some work. 
drink a thousand more litres of water than I have been doing. Um, and I'm going to check in with you guys again properly, but I just wanted to show you this. And obviously I've wasted no time in wearing it. We have started the next testing basics, which is linen shirts, but it's just too hot for sleeves. So today I'm wearing the bag with my dear Francis slides, my favourites, and this Everlane dress. I'm going to show you it properly later, but it was the one that was a mini one. And had it taken up so that it was sorry it was midi and I had it taken up so it was mini um, and I like it loads more I know I'm gonna get loads more wear out of it like this so I'll show you better than I can good morning guys um, I'm from Australia now it's quite a recent move for me but you know you just you love, love the waves and you just love fucking sticking some shrimp on the barbie with some sheilas we'll, a couple of tinnies in the esky and you just gotta fucking follow the dream yeah. <laughs> <laughs> i'm so excited about being in new york in december when it'll be christmasy oh yeah so nice home alone vibes yeah it's so cold to take our big I have to wear my big sandra you know that shearling coat that i wore loads last winter oh yeah nah it's the only thing you need So nice. <laughs> yeah. New York. Where are we going now? Pancake. Pancakes. Pa pancakes. I'm saying I want pancakes for as long as I've been coming here to see, to see the old gold chain. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, I'm being taken for some. That's because she wouldn't. Those who wait. It's because uh, you wouldn't stop. It needed to be a surprise, you know? Because otherwise, it's just like expectations. Yeah. Where you go? Where you go, lovely? Huh? Where you go? Yeah. Shut from the street. Shut. Shut from the street. Also, shut not from the street, but not right now because she's in the frame. We're going this way. Yeah. I think we should because it's a big deal. I think if you had to answer if you love the bag more than me, what would you say? Nine. Yeah, absolutely. See, so that is uh, how much? Huh? <laughs> he satisfies me in ways Ben cannot. <laughs> in we go. Pancakes. I think the I'm a boss. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Do you want to share that and then share a sweet one or you just want that? Wait, when when it, when we're sharing in the equation, you're an only child, you don't share. <laughs> to film sometimes, you know? Why? You're unpredictable. <laughs> You're unpredictable. Oh, like the weather. Shit. Watch out for that side. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Where's this linen shirt from? Our cat. Oh, love our cat. This one was quite expensive there. I think this was like 55 pounds. Compared to? The Uniqlo was 19 pound 90, I think. Everlane was sixty dollars and then I bought one from Gap that's been like twenty three pounds and I'm still trying to work out which to do for the most expensive one but I want the most expensive one to be like between one and two hundred pounds. Whoa. Yeah. I like this one though. It's thicker. A lot thicker yeah. I prefer the cut of the Uniqlo one I think. It's a small point. You're really close baby. <laughs> 
one feels a bit nicer. Than this. Ah, oh, right. So. But are you ordering the male version? Um, I'm doing a mix. This is a boys one. I'm doing a mix of boys and girls. Right. But girls are just being oversized. Time will tell. Slightly hairy legs. The knobbly knees. Oh, this one looks like it's got a face on it. This guy. Hello. Hello. They're so knobbly, aren't they? Real knobbly. Oh, well, I can we drag the backwards? Nope. Oh, your hair looks quite nice actually from this angle. Yeah. From this certain angle, did you say? From this angle. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you call me? Chili flop. Chili flop. Yeah. I'll think that's endearing. Yeah, no, it means when you're being a bit of a madam though. Oh. Come on, chili flop. Okay. Coming, darling! <laughs>